Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Valentine's Day fidget toys using Tinkercad. This project should take experienced users of Tinkercad less than an hour to complete. With that being said, let's begin. The first thing that we'll go to do is go to Tinkercad, and we'll go to our designs. We will create a new 3D design. After we load in, we'll go down to this brown part and we'll drag one in. We'll also change our view to a top view. We're going to change the size of our heart. We're going to set the size of it to be 47 and 47. With that done, we can now copy and paste this heart so we have two now. I would separate the two hearts. One of these hearts, we are going to adjust and we are going to change the height of it to two. We will use that one later. This one, we will adjust the height up to 11. Now we need to make a channel for our gears to go into. So we will drag in one of these boxes. We are going to set the height of, of the length of our box to 30 and we're going to set the width of our box to 60. With that done, we'll click on our box and we're going to lift it up one millimeter. Then we'll drag it into position so that it cuts a channel through the heart all the way through. We'll then click and drag to select our two shapes and we will group them together. Now, as you can see, we have a heart with a channel through it that we can put our gears and linkages in. In order to get our gears and linkages, we'll click on the search shapes button over here. And we will be searching for snap. I will need one of these snap and sockets the red one right here. And I will need one snap fit gear. Again, the red one right here. I will actually take this time to drag in two of the snap fit gears. So we will need to precisely align these snaps with each other. So I'm going to go down to the snap grid and I'm going to click on this button here and I'm going to change the snap grid to five millimeters. As you can see, it's been changed. Next, I will click on this snap and I will duplicate it. And I'm going to move it over to the left five times using the arrows on my keyboard. One, two, three, four, five. Those five times, because we adjust the snap grid, correlate to 25 millimeters. I'll go ahead and change the snap grid back to one. Next, I will select the two snaps and I will group them together. This is so that when I move one, I can move both of them and keep the relationship the same. Next, I'm going to move them up one millimeter and then I'm going to position them so that they fit nicely in the heart. I want them to be about equidistant between the top and the bottom. Remember to rotate your camera so that you can make sure that you are placing them within the heart and that they aren't spilling over the sides. For example, if I move my camera like this, everything looks good. However, when I rotate my camera around here, we can see the obvious problem. Now I can select the snaps and this heart with the channel dug out of it and group them all together. Now that the case for a heart is done, we can begin working on the lid. I'll move that over there, move these over here, and I'll move that initial heart that we copied and pasted over here. So on the lid, this is a good space to write a message to someone if you'd like to. Some examples that I have are I love you, mom. You're the best. 
Will you be my Valentine and I fidget when I see you? This one is my personal favorite, so I'll show you how to make it right now. We'll leave the search bar by clicking on this X and it will take us back to the basic shapes tab. I'm going to scroll down until I find the text and I'm going to drag one in. I'm going to change the language or the font to sans because I think that it works better when printing. I'll also adjust the size of my text down a little bit and then move it into position. To change the text, I'll click on this bar and I'll write in my message. As you can see, I don't have enough space. So in order to keep writing, I'm going to copy and paste this and move the text, the new text down here. Again, I'll copy and paste. As you can see, we need to rearrange the words a little bit so that they all fit onto the case. And we still need to shrink them down a little bit. And just position your letters so you have a nice distribution. Now, I, you, there are two ways that you could go about this. You could adjust the height of the letters so that they just protrude a little bit, like so. However, I find that these, this style is less durable and is more likely to break or not look as good. So we are actually going to do the inverse. I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to click on all of the text and I'm going to turn it into a hole by clicking on this button up here. Then I'm going to lift up the text one millimeter, and I'm going to group all the text and those uh, the text and that heart together. This way, our lettering is cut into the lid of our case, and this makes it a lot more durable. The last thing I would like to show you is how to add a little loop so that this can be used on a key ring. In order to go add a loop, we'll go to the basic shapes again, and we'll go down to the tube. We'll drag one in, and we're going to adjust it a little bit. We're going to set the radius to be five, and we're going to set the wall thickness to be 1.8. Then we'll simply move it in and position it wherever we would like it to be. You might like it over here or you might like it in the center. Either way, that is everything you need to know in order to make your own little gift for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any suggestions on other ideas, please leave a comment down below. Either way, I'm Zeke, thanks for watching and have a great day.